Oh, you. No. Okay, well, I know I'm just a superstar. I'm waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you want to get so. Yeah, the same John, and I'm a, um, a high school teacher. Uh, in a, in a uh, going from what's the answer, and usually a very good school. And the reason it's a good school, uh, so it's a very rare school, I'm going to tell you that, is that the uh, the uh, administration are all union members, they're dedicated union members. Uh, at the beginning of every academic year, they will stand up and say, look, our priority is you, is to the staff. Once that you feel safe and you feel this is in opposition to what CN was saying about uh, the, the, the Liberal government, um, once you feel safe and secure, then you are in a better position to take care of the kids. In other words, it's a complete turnaround. Um, you know, it's typical what the Liberals do, and actually the Labour as well. They say the public come first, or the students have got to come first. That's an excuse, so that's laying the basis to have a go here. That's where it's always for. Um, <clears throat> so, we've actually, in, in my workplace when I'm the union rep, we've actually increased our, our union membership from around about 40% to around about 70%, and, uh, which, is, which is excellent. Um, Conrad has been, uh, over 300 years of being union meetings have started like this. Unions, huge unions, have started with very small meetings. You know, just a handful of people. So often they've just dissipated into nothing. Often they've, uh, um, they've grown into the biggest unions uh, that the world's seen. So, it's, it's uh, and sometimes the most militant unions. Um, there are very, CN was uh, outlining, I think she outlined fantastically, the, uh, the depth of the crisis that the Liberal government are going to impose on working people. The, the level of attacks that they're going to make on, on our unions. And what we're hoping to do today is to at least start a campaign um, whereby we're going to get the, the left, the activists in each union, working as a, in, in, within, their, within their own union and working within each, with each other. Now that would be a, a, a fantastic reaction, if you like, to the relative inactivity of a lot of unions, and CN unions quite active. Uh, the teachers' union, by the way, has played a very negative role in, in, in this rally. They voted against it, and it was shameful, really. They should have been to the fore as public sector unions members. They should have been to the fore and supporting that union and supporting that day. Disgracefully, they voted against it, as did, as did some other unions. Um, because that's exactly what you need. It's the unity of different unions. It's the only the unity of different unions, in fact, that will stop this Liberal government's attack on, on our unions. There have been so many examples in the past where individual unions have been very well organized. There are two in, in, in WA in particular, the uh, MUA and the CFAU, who I'll mention a bit later as well, who've stood and uh, organized their memberships, have got very active memberships, and we, we do a stall on the bridge from the train station to the library. And it's always strange, you know where the, these people have come from. And if someone comes in, they're quite knowledgeable and, and aware of what's going on. They're usually from one of those two unions because they're quite aware. Their unions educate them in, 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 in struggle, in, in, in education. Um, so it's the ideal situation in which unions get together. So one of the first things we might want to look at is actually getting the left in different sections of the union working together, even if it's on a small basis. Even if there's only three or four, and by the way, there's a new left-wing faction developing right this minute in the teachers' union, who are totally opposed to all the, the previous rubbish that, uh, that the teachers' unions uh, um, gone through, including voting against this uh, this mass rally, which was really, really important. Um, we sometimes look at Perth, though, and perhaps we shouldn't, as a, as a sleepy town, and it seems like that sometimes. But really, if you look at the, the history of trade unionism in, in, in WA, it's been amazing. I remember the third wave in the, in the, in the mid-90s, 30,000 people marched on that demonstration. It was huge. It took hours and hours to get to Parliament. It was just awesome. And you could feel that power, that incredible power that unionists uh, can have. And the Liberal government backed down on most of those things, and I think they were then voted out of office. Um, Following that, there was the, uh, the Australian in 1998, the Australian waterfront dispute, where um, the Maritime Union was attacked by the, uh, the uh, maritime owners, and um, there was a huge public campaign in support of the Wharfies. Um, the Wharfies went on strike, 
And if he went down to the wharves at Fremantle, on, on days that the MU had called people out, there was a huge community reaction, reaction. There were thousands of people there. It was a huge demonstration. And in fact, um, the, the, uh, the owners of the, of the uh, wharfies stood down. And most of the demands that the uh, MUA called for were actually won over. Now, there's a, that's a good example of, uh, of how to organize. Just to see it. A dog, a dog park, of phoning around everybody, of, of speaking to members, of organising groups, of organising um, sections of workers and each. If you don't do that, then nothing will happen. It's impossible. Nothing will, will happen unless you organise on that basis. And every union needs to, 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 to organise on that basis. And I hope we all took some notes. we we'll go back to our own unions and our own workplaces and some of the facts and figures that CN outlined. I'll give you a bad example of the union. I've given you two very good examples. Oh, by the way, the CFMEU and the MUA have just won some historical, massive wage and improvement conditions in the north and the mines and the, in the ships, which Matt, Neil perhaps might want to go over being involved in that a little bit. Um, and they've decided uh, about six, seven months ago that they are now going to work together as two militant, um, organised unions. And already we've seen the fruits, the benefits of that, where they've actually got some really positive big wage increases of 32% in some cases. Um, what, they, what they've actually done was they've chosen a highly uh, paid section of workers and they said everybody should be on those wages and conditions. And they've actually got them, which is uh, pretty, pretty amazing. But I'll give you a bad example of you. My own union, and I'm only a rep of my workplace. I'm not a full-time official, I can say what I want. Um, um, the last two occasions, and I'll, and I'll tell you the last occasion, which was three years ago, which is just 